should do Yo, what's up everybody? So the vlog that you're about to watch was from before all this COVID stuff happened, uh, back in February actually. It's now August when I'm releasing this video. And the reason why I'm releasing it now is because for the last several months, I was kind of using this video as like therapy. Anytime that I was getting those sad feelings or maybe not sad, but just like, man, I miss live poker. I would pull out my computer and I would work on this and it would kind of help me get over that. And you know, nothing is like live poker. I've been playing a lot on Poker Bros and a lot online. And it's just not the same. You know, I love communicating with people. I love having fun. I love going to visit a friend, staying with him, you know, like I did in this video with my friend Christian. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get back to that one day. You know, like, well, I pray big about that. And obviously I think bank always, but you know, who knows? Uh, live poker, I feel like is never gonna be the same. So this basically is the last video when poker was normal. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and that's the reason why I'm releasing it several months later, but I'm sure you can understand. So as always guys, think bank and uh, enjoy the video. Christian just got home from work. We getting ready for the monster stack. It's gonna be a good day. Damn. Niggas just wanna stick me for my bait. Damn. Niggas wanna stick me for my bait. We ain't letting go. We getting all the stippies today. Right? 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 Chips. Chips. I love that, dude. First flip of the day. Oh, look at the window. Oh no, he has more ounce now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to pay too sweet. Mm, that's sweet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice hand. Good luck, everybody. Yep. Well, I was going to rebuy, and I went to the table there to get my payout from the re-entry, and they can't find the paperwork or something. It's never been an issue. Any other stop I ever go play at, I never get my payout until a day or two or a few days later. Usually I just get them all at once. And I think now I realize I'm just spoiled by Miss Joanne because she knows me and she's really, really good at it. And this lady's like, I can't, I can't find event one. And now I'm waiting for this payout in order to get the funds to rebuy on the monster. Yeah, I could go to the ATM, but I hate spending ATM fees. It's kind of like my thing. I, I hate just wasting money. Finally got my payout. That literally took like 37 minutes. <laughs> I'm getting in now. Thank you. Thank you. All righty, dinner break now. Ooh, right. I got a, uh, man, I didn't do it. <laughs> got a little over starting stack, like 31,000. After that payout thing took forever, by the time I sat down, it was like the 1600 big blind. I got that shoved through with the ace jack of diamonds that you saw and then nothing really since. So we got a 30 minute break, came to the car to get my little potatoes that I made. This stuff is so good, fresh potatoes, organic bell pepper, onion, and a little bit of garlic with some salt and pepper. So good, it doesn't spoil, you don't gotta worry about heating it up or anything. It's a great little snack, so pro tip. <laughs> uh, 30 minutes and then we're back at it. Hope to build a mountain. Like I haven't really had any hands yet. Kind of sucked earlier with that big ace king flip, so I'm um, still feeling good and I'm still thinking big. Is that what you had? For the vlog. <laughs> I can't, I can't show that one. Ace Jack would probably flip it though. Can't fold that with that stack you got. You got 25 to chip. Gotta beat it. Oh, well, maybe you made the right decision. I mean, that's, I don't know how you folded that. Oh, you're, you're good, right. bro. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Good spot for that. Well, you got kings. You ain't worried about shit. Look, guys, it's Jimmy again. Think right bang. next to me again. <laughs> hey, think bang. <laughs> I've been ninja for a while. We're on the money bubble now. The dealer dealt us a hand, no one asked us to have a hand. 122 left, top 120 Alright, thank you, bring them back in. Alright, we just made it into the money. Uh, 120 people left. Pink, pink. Pink and pink. 
Congrats on making the money. You still in for it? Yeah, I'm ninja. I got uh, like 12 bigs. We got a gambler with me, so. Oh, that's a good gamble. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's always sweaty. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> what a gamble. I felt it coming. Good luck, everybody. Payout 63. 90 second place for a whopping $611. Woo! We're going sunset chasing. Kristen says he knew of a really good spot. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> he was getting worried. We passed two spots? Yeah, we did pass two. I was worried. The perfect spot. All right, yes. the perfect spot? It looks pretty good. Oh! I know what I'm talking about. Just ate a fish. Wow. All right, just got to Hard Rock. Had a day off yesterday. I'm sure you could tell from that sunset. There was no poker played. Just hung out with Christian because it was his day off. We were both planning on being in day two of the monster, but that didn't happen. So we just hung out. We went, had a nice like late lunch, some day drinks. Then we went to see that sunset uh, and came back and just watched like old school movies. Coming to America and me, myself, and Irene, like those movies, I was belly laughing so much yesterday. Like I've seen those movies before, but like when you watch it again, it's kind of nostalgic because you remember some of the lines or some of the lines you don't. And you're like, wow, I can't believe I forgot that. So it was a cool day. Just got to spend time with my friend because he works over 70 hours a week. So I felt like I didn't want to play any poker. It was like, it wasn't even a question. It was like a no brainer. So now I'm about to go put in about four or five hours. Uh, it is Valentine's Day though. So if I get on a good table and there's a lot of guys that are just upset that they don't have dates and they're giving it away, <laughs> I might just stay longer. But tomorrow I was planning on playing the $400 turbo event. I didn't want to play too late because I wanted to be fresh for that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just going to play it by ear and uh, cash game Corey. Here we go. First hand. Uh, you made it 20? All right, you got it. <laughs> you want to make the vlog? Here, you made the vlog. <laughs> oh. Small pots are good pots. All right. Wow, Annie hit the flush. I played that pretty well. <laughs> Man, started out pretty good with those aces. And then it just was not a good hour and 15 minutes after that. <laughs> Not so much because of the hands uh, and the setups. It was more so about me not paying attention. I was talking too much. I have this problem with just not wanting to be rude to people. So I don't really say, hey, hold that thought or give me a second. I just kind of try to play while having a conversation. Someone at the table, usually they, you know, they'll stop talking whenever the action starts and then we can pick it back up the next hand. But in this case, this massage girl that I hadn't seen in a while, she comes over to me and she gives me a big hug. I'm like, hey, how you doing? And then the next three hands I lose because she's standing behind me and I'm not blaming her. It's not her fault. It's just, I know how I felt at the table and I wasn't really even focused. I was half engaged in conversation, half engaged in the hands. Uh, and the biggest hand I lost was this one where I had King Queen off suit. The guy right to my right was this like funny Asian guy and he'd been straddling almost every hand. So um, I call six. This is like, as soon as she comes over, I'm just like, all right, I'll call. Four other people come in. Which side note, I should have been raising right there, but because I'm talking, I didn't raise and I just call. I take the, the easy approach. Flop comes out, queen, nine, five, two hearts. I bet 20. The guy in the small blind, who was the guy that as soon as I get to the table, he's like, yo, what's up, man? I watch your stuff. I love your videos. He raises the 55. So there's always like, as soon as someone says that to me, I'm like, oh, is he trying to bluff me? Or is he just trying to play a pot with me? Or is this a real, like, he's telling me that he actually has a good hand here. So I wasn't sure really, and I couldn't really even think about it that much because I'm kind of talking to this girl. So I call his raise when he check raises to 55, the turn card comes and ace of clubs, and he fairly quickly and confidently bets 85. Uh, and he only had like 200 or so whenever he bet 85, so it was almost half his stack. And at the same time, this girl, I'm still kind of talking to her. It's not her fault, I'm not blaming her. I'm just like half engaged and half engaged, which is never good whenever you're playing for real money. 
Uh, and I just give him credit and I fold. And then I go back to talking to her and then he's like, you wanna see, you wanna see? I say, no, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good, man. And then the next two hands I lose, it wasn't much, like 15 here, I think, 20 there. I think I just called pre-flop and then folded the flop. So I guess I just came up here to do this video and take a little breather because I was more mad at myself. I wasn't mad at the ace coming on the turn or anything like that. It was me knowing that I wasn't really engaged. I was more engaged in conversation than I was at poker. Uh, and I came here to play poker and make money. So what the hell are you doing, Corey? Anytime that I feel that way, or anytime that you feel that way either, just get up and take a little walk. I recommend going outside and getting some fresh air. Eating food might not be the best because then you come back feeling groggy. So I just came up here to watch sunset, that sucked. Now I'm just gonna, I guess, take a sip of water, maybe do some little Wim Hof breathing and go down there and play part two. I just gotta get better at telling people, hey, can you just give me one second or hold that thought? <laughs> Well, I decided not to play any more cash games. Uh, right after that last clip that you saw of me on the roof, I moved my car to a lower level because it was starting to rain. And as I was doing that, I got a message from this guy, Kyle, on Instagram that wanted to meet up with me uh, to try some of these yerba mate drinks. Anyway, whenever I handed it to him, he asked me a question and then I asked him a question and then it was went back and forth like that for over an hour. And we had a great conversation. And even after I was like, man, I don't really feel like playing cash games now I feel like I came to Hard Rock I lost 215 bucks and this is what I came here for to have this conversation with you because it was one of those meaningful ones so now I'm on the way back my friend Christian also messaged me shortly after our conversation was over and he just got off of work and we're gonna go to this restaurant we went the other day and get some tacos maybe a couple drinks and you know that's gonna be my Valentine <laughs> so uh, yeah, I just want to spend time with my friend as much as I can he works so much and he's by himself here so if you guys ever have any friends that you know are lonely a lot go spend some time with them it doesn't have to be an occasion or someone's birthday or something like valentine's day just go hang out with them uh so that's what i'm gonna go do i always gotta hit it at least two or three times <laughs> just to make sure so i just got the hard rock it is the turbo event today 400 dollar one day here we go leg workouts, but anytime on an escalator, it's a perfect chance to torque the calves. Oh yeah. Thank you. Well, wasn't a good start, but we just tripled. Woo. 58. Would I have 58? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Can you put a heart in there? Thank you. Oh, come on. Can't lie, I'm a little ticked right now. So I had a jack off under the gun. I had around 17K or so, start the hand. And I had been throwing in some limps and limp calling because there was this one guy, I think he's from Russia, and he just doesn't care about money. He's just raising huge, he'll just go all in blind kind of guy. Uh, he just doesn't care. So I kind of had to like formulate my strategy to be able to see flops and instead of raising and then him going all in and shit and then me having to make a super high variance call, I've just been limp calling, seeing flops and then playing it from there. Started out pretty rough, like I was down to 5,800, then I triple up, then I have ace jack off under the gun. I limp for 400, it gets limped around, the flop comes out, I believe it was ace six eight, you guys saw it. Uh, I check the crazy guy, he bets 3,100. The guy right next to him goes all in and he has 200 less than me. Uh, gets around to me, I don't really think too long. Like there's two hearts out there, a couple draws. I, I'm pretty sure that somebody would have raised if they had a better ace than ace jack. So uh, I call the other guy, the crazy dude, ends up thinking for a while and then folding. And the guy has ace five and rivers a five. So yeah. Uh, ah, and see after I bust the tournament too, I don't even want to play cash. I'm like in a weird, a weird state of mind right now where I just don't feel like playing. It's kind of like whenever I put in my time, I'm done. And now I just want to go do something else. Sports 
Come on. Come on. Ah! Damn. Come on, man. Still battling in the $50, 250K guarantee. Got just under two milli. About 150 left. This all-star game was awesome. Only be one MVP tonight. Who's it gonna be? Present the first time ever Kobe Bryant All-Star MVP award to Kawhi Leonard. Nice. Very deserving. First place was fifty-seven thousand. All right, just got the Hard Rock. Christian beat me here. It's the last tournament of the series. The two hundred and fifty dollar double stack. He took the day off so we can make a run together. And yo, I gotta give him a shout out real quick. So yesterday, I'm at his house. I'm like starting to play online. I'm watching the XFL, and I see him like he has this like towel and a big bucket, and he's going into the back room. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I gotta take care of some stuff. I gotta take it. And I didn't really think about it. I just thought he was cleaning the house. So then he comes in like an hour later. I'm like, what were you doing, bro? What were you doing? So I was outside talking to the neighbor and he didn't really tell me what he did, right? So then as soon as I pull up, he's like, damn, them things sparkling, them things sparkling, talking about my rim. And I got this car like four months ago, three months, and I hadn't washed it yet. I've been procrastinating, I travel a lot. I was gonna do it soon, but I didn't. And this dude washes my whole car. He washes in the drive. <laughs> in the dri but it, he also didn't tell me, he wanted me to like find out, this guy. See, it's, it's little things like that when you know you have good friends. And that's a good person right there. It's not just because he walks my car. We've done all types of great things this trip. And like, regardless how this goes, I want you to know, it's been an awesome trip, Chris. It really has. Regardless. It's all about that chill time we got. Yep. It ain't about the money. It's nice to win the money, but it ain't about the money. It's about the experiences, the memories. <laughs> Put a ring on it. Woo! All right, it's gonna be a good day. We think in vain. This guy with the damn cigarette. I yell at him at almost everyone. I'm like, come on, bro, don't kill yourself. Come on, man, stop with those coffin nails. You're taking four minutes off your life. Like I have a whole slew of things that I try to get in his head, but it hasn't worked yet. When are you gonna stop those cigarettes? One day. One day? You know, yeah. one day is not a day. Either is someday. You know, like Tuesday, that's a day. What's today, Monday? Tuesday is a great day. Tuesday is a great one. It's only because I care about them. I'm only on people that I care about, really. I say it to strangers too, but I don't really care about them. I just want to help them. My friends, please stop smoking cigarettes, man. Please. Seven, four, four in. Sounds good. Thank good luck, you. Appreciate it. No, we're not. Oh, no, I'm not here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. First break, came outside to get a little fresh air, chat with Christian. It's been an up and down type of day so far. Uh, started out pretty bad. Then I won a few pots. Then I got caught bluffing. Then I hit quads. <laughs> now I got 25,000 going back to the 600 big blind. And I got a really good table. So hope it's a nice long day. You know what I'm thinking. Second break. How's it going, bro? Oh, you don't have that, that happy look on your face. You know, I give him an all in free with Ace King versus King Nine. To eat, so I got have 100,000 after it. Sorry for his mouth. He's a little upset. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's all right. You get, a, get the, the nine that he had a hit. But you still in? Yeah. Oh, of course. How much you got? I'm like 25. All right, well, I got 20. So we in there. Come on. We got 10 bigs and 12 bigs. Hey, hey, you gotta focus on the stack that you have, right? Not I the stack that you bit, had. I did just get a little bit back. All right. The Dude. guy raised the four grand, I shoved with aces for 17 grand total. He goes, oh man, I've seen your hands. You're getting aces, you're getting kings. If I call here, you're gonna explode. So he pulled it? Yeah, he pulled it. It was funny. Was All like, right. All right, I pulled it. He probably would've hit two pair though, so you're good. That's what I'm saying. All right, he's in. We're in there. Same hand. 
Oh, fours? Eight, ten. I had basically the same hand. <laughs> Fast. Good luck, myself. Thank you, thank you. Going for the triple up. One guy's got ace queen. God dang it. How do I help? And we're going to get the ace. Eight players. <laughs> Three players, two are all in. Ooh. Well, he hit an eight. How much did he have? The eight, the eight deuce. Oh, he had all that? Ah, oh, jeez. He had way more than I thought. 3K big blind. I have 15K. But Christian just doubled with aces. Christian, throw it up. <laughs> Ooh, we got a double. Christian, double. I didn't get quads though. Kobe. Thank you, thank you. 24. All right. You got a beta jack. Marshall stays. Thank you, thank you. For the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so intense when you do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Been ninja so long. I'm still ninja in that one again. 13 bigs now. Please. Max entertainment value here at Tampa. Dinner break now. Uh, that double up was literally the last hand right before we went on break. Perfect timing. Christian's got over 100K. I don't know where he is, but I'm gonna get some food and we're back in 30 minutes. Uh, it's gonna be the 5K big line. So still ninja in like around 10 bigs. I've been less than 15 bigs for like three hours, I feel like. So just surviving. And then I'm gonna accumulate as soon as we get back. I got a feeling I'm about to catch fire. Fire! First hand back and break. <sighs> they got me. I shoved 65K at the 6K big blind from the hijack button reshoves, uh, blinds fold. He has tens, can't win a flip. Couldn't win a flip, sir. Can you believe that? <laughs> Christian's still in though. He's got 20 bigs right now, nine away from the money. So I'm hoping he can just maintain, hopefully build a big stack actually. And then I'll go watch him and help him bink a ring. Ooh, we just need one to match. Oh. Oh. Damn. Hey, Good run, bro. Good run, man. Dealers, who's showing wrong? Give me a high card, please. Good run, brother. Good run. You got 28 out of 455. That was a good day, man. Look, he doubled his money. It's a good day. There's that smile. He was a little upset at first. He was a little upset. But at the start of the day, if I could have said, yo, you're going to guarantee me double your money. You've been like, word? Took the ride off. Yeah. You pay for it, though, right? That's like double what you make at work in one night. <laughs> so today's Christian's day off. We're about to go get some fresh haircuts. And then after that, we're gonna take a few of the guys that he works with to go feed a group of homeless people. Uh, I think we're gonna go to Little Caesars and just buy a whole bunch of pies and some waters and go out there and eat with them. So it should be a fun day. I'm probably not gonna get any footage of that. I don't want them seeing me record them at all. Uh, and then we're just gonna hang out. And then later tonight, we're going back to the Derby where I don't think I got any footage of the first time that we went there, but me and Christian went and it was their $85 weekly events and we chopped it up. I don't even know, there was like 80 people or something in it and me and one other guy split it. So we're gonna try to do that again and end the trip on a good note. Uh, I'm just gonna spend some time with my friends. So we're gonna make the most of the last day in Tampa. 
Hello, Derby. Okay, it was nice playing with you. 30 and 30. You're welcome. You have a great day with me. Enjoy it. Well, I just chopped the derby again. <laughs> Another 800. That was awesome. There was uh, like 60 people or something in the tournament. We chopped it three ways. I had the most chips. It was a good night. Uh, and it was a great way to just end the Tampa trip. You know, it wasn't that good of a Tampa trip overall. I didn't make that much money in cash. I really didn't even play that much cash, to be honest, because... I don't know, part of it was being an hour away, staying at Christian's house, but then the other part of it was just being in tournament mode. And once I get in tournament mode, like playing the re-entry and then the monster, uh, and then the other weekend event, it just, it's hard for me to get into cash game mode. So I just more spent time with Christian and made some memories, made a little money at the Derby. This place is awesome. I really do like this place. And this is apparently every Wednesday, they have an $85 tournament. So anytime I'm here, it's my honey hole. Let's go.